Hello guys, welcome back to the shop. Thank you for uh, taking some time out to uh, come and visit with me. Uh, tonight's video, I think it's going to end up being a two-part video. Uh, I've got the project started, uh, but uh, here it is Monday uh, evening and I'm not completed. Uh, so it'll probably end up in a second video. It's a repair of the flame uh, guards on my barbecue that are out of stainless steel. It's a pretty interesting little build that I'm doing. I'm having a lot of fun with it and I uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, just to follow up uh, my last video, Just Plain Cheating, uh, I'd like to thank uh, everybody for all the positive comments. I really uh, had assumed that uh, I was going to get uh, raked over the coals for what I call cheating by using my surface grinder to uh, sharpen the blades. Uh, it turned out that uh, most people are quite appreciative of it and uh, I really enjoyed that. Uh, may do a second uh, video on uh, setting up the planes and dusting off the actual sole plates on them. There were some questions on that and that would be a little bit of a challenge uh, to how, to, how to set it up and hold it, uh, but that may be something for the future. Okay, well I hope you enjoy this video and uh, it'll come on right now. guys. I don't know if you can see my head or not, but it doesn't matter anyway. So today I went to uh, Harbor Freight and I picked up a uh, swivel head shear, 14 gauge. Uh, see if it would work. I would borrowed a buddy's plasma. I needed to cut this uh, stainless and it's 14 gauge and uh, the plasma wasn't working so I went to the repair shop so I went there today, pretty cool, walked in, saw a good friend of mine. Uh, he was standing there, we got talking, and he had the 20% off uh, coupon with him, which I didn't have. So this was on sale today, uh, ended up uh, 30 with the 20% discount, $37.50. $37 Not bad. Well, it's already sheared off two 8-foot runs. Um, did well. I'm happy with it. It work. It's working hard in the stainless, but it's doing it. And uh, now I've got to start cutting strips out of this the other way to uh, get this. I got this stainless from uh, our good buddy Stan Shaden HKW. Uh, I went over to his uh, job up here in Livermore, and these were some uh, panels that uh, were sent to him wrong, and uh, he was going to take them to scrap. And he had given me a call and said if he wants them material come over and get it so I got a few panels I'm gonna end up making a uh, backsplash for my buddy's lathe also these pieces and uh, you'll see uh, are for my barbecue uh, I'll uh, get that in the uh, video here you can see what I'm building well this is one of the flame guards out of the barbecue what's left of it uh, as you can see, they're radius pieces. This one actually has the standoff on it to uh, hold, the, hold the guard up off the burner. Um, it's got some half pieces and some full uh, half circles. So I'm going to start cutting out blanks to make these guys up. And then uh, I made a, uh, a press break for my uh, press that will go ahead and form these uh, radiuses. So uh, let me get measuring and start hacking. Okay, we'll show you this one. It's a little bit of work. Cutting. I'll show you for uh, layout. Uh, basically, a sheet metal scribing tool. 
So I'm just using that to uh, get me a couple of lines and then uh, coming in with the square. So I have a straight edge and uh, just pick up the lines and give myself a, a good line to see. And then whack off. Okay, well, you can see the various parts that I need to make to put this guy back together. It'll be all new parts. So, uh, I need to shape the stainless uh, like this. So, push this off to the side there. So, I, I made this guy, and I think that's in frame. Let me, let me just double check. Oh, yeah. So, I built this guy to uh, use in my press and so what I have is a half a pipe cut and then I've got the uh, mail on the other side here uh, put the piece in and yeah I've already done one show it to you here here's a here's a new new part that's been bent so you grab a light so basically set a blank on here, center it up, and it ends up uh, turning this guy out right here. Works out real well. And then for the shorter pieces that don't have a, a large radius, same thing. Piece goes on there and I get a, a, a nice uh, radius on it. Uh, I'll uh, load one up and we'll take it back and show you in the press. Nothing too exciting, but uh, we'll do it. Uh, just so you can see it, but uh, works out well. The springs are there. Uh, probably could be heavier springs, but it works. So basically load it up and then just uh, eyeball it for uh, center and then uh, the press will uh, press it down. Okay, got the uh, part in the press here and uh, my press, it's an, it's an older OTC uh, press. Uh, put this little extension on it, um, is a, is, works well hand pump ram our parts uh, in there uh, nice and straight and uh, we'll run the press down Okay. This guy right here, while we're talking, is just a uh, an extension piece on the end of the press, so that you can reach down on on smaller items, and then that's adjustable also. Um, so it works well. A little nose piece on the press. All right, we'll uh, go back over to the bench. Okay, let's uh, take it apart here. Comes out pretty good. There's the uh, piece inside. And this is a little bit of a fight to get this guy out. 
Let's see. It's a tight fit in there. A couple screwdrivers, get it to work loose, and, and then she pops. As I said, there she pops. And there it is. Nice uh, round form. And be ready to uh, put it all back together. So, got a lot of these to uh, bend up still. Six of these. Then I got to do the ends and the sides, which are all the difference. So, we'll keep on bending uh, and we get it ready to, uh, to weld up. Uh, I'll show you that. So, I've got all the large ones done. And now I got to move on to the small ones. And you can see I've done this one here and it conformed to the pipe. But the problem with this is you can't see it when it's in here. So, for alignment. And rather than really sit there and fart around trying to do that, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try it. I'm going to put some double stick tape down so that when I put the when I put the, the bar there, it'll stick and uh, it'll stay right there and then I can put the top on it. So let me give that a try. Okay, I've got the uh, double stick tape on it. it. The tape is very, very thin and it'll be interesting to see uh, how, it, uh, how it holds, if it, if it will hold and what it's going to stick to when it when it does. And it doesn't look like it's going to... These pieces got a bow in it from the cutter. Hmm. We got a flat one. Anything flat? Come on, boys. Eh. Nothing flat. All right. Oh, there we go. Hey, now. Oh, see the one piece of tape already came off, stuck there, so... But we got a winner winner chicken dinner here. So Okay, we'll go give it hell. Okay. Well, that was a success. But the tape stuck to the uh, pieces, so that means I gotta put fresh tape on every time. So I don't think I want to do that. I gotta have to come up with another uh, method of madness here. Well, last I had showed you was uh, all the parts had been finally uh, bent and ready to go. And I've moved ahead a little bit here uh, on assembly. Uh, I didn't film any of this initial assembly. It was a little bit of a challenge uh, setting it up. I've got these bolts here in my welding table for alignment. And then I was using basically magnets to get the right uh, roll on the radius parts and getting in place and intact. So the first frame is uh, basically tacked together, um, basically pretty flat, so I'm happy with that. And then what will occur is the uh, three of the, uh, three of the flame guards need to get laid out and uh, welded welded into it also and then I also have to create the little the little steps that uh, hold it up off the burner uh, be fairly simple to do that so uh, don't think we're going to get much more past this tonight um, other than just showing you that the assembly is going together really well uh, I'm really happy with it um, I did some cleaning on the unit today uh, the barbecue unit that is, uh, to preparations to start to fit things. And uh, the burners are bad. So interesting, I looked up the burners uh, for uh, my barbecue is a G monogram. It's probably 
It's way over 10 years old now, and I've replaced the burners a couple of times. Well, they wanted 260 bucks for the burners. But I did enough research and chasing, um, and GE didn't make that barbecue. Uh, DCS was the manufacturer for General Electric. So I've ended up finding in, uh, the burners for uh, $59 a piece. So I've got two of those on order, so it'll be a complete rebuild of the uh, unit. Um, the other thing that was interesting, let me grab something. The, uh, I've known this for some time. This is a little drawer unit that uh, is for wood chips. And uh, the burner underneath it is burnt out long ago. You, it, it really wasn't a useful item, the burner underneath here. And so I don't care that it's gone. And you can see the, the wood chip box is basically uh, rotted out from all the heat. So it's the same, uh, same wall thickness as uh, what I got from Stan. So that'll be fun. I get to build myself a new little box and uh, either rebuild uh, uh, build that handle or uh, just go ahead and cut that handle off and weld it on. So I'll be getting that in and you'll see that in part two also. Kind of excited to do that. It'll be fun. Okay, okay uh, guys. Thanks for uh, stopping by. It's a little chilly here t uh, tonight, so I'm not going to work very late. Catch you next Tuesday.